Well, it's Chinese New Year, and this year is Year of the Pig. What does that have to do with wine? Well, stay tuned, and I'll explain. Welcome to this week's episode. It's about Chinese New Year, and this year is Year of the Pig. So we're gonna look at three wines uh, that are um, representative, I think, of uh, the Year of the Pig. And the um, Chinese New Year is a little special to me. My birthday usually falls around that time of year. And uh, Year of the Pig and my birthday has another um, theme, and that is because when I was a kid, my parents would always ask me, what restaurant do I want to go to? Or what was the food that I wanted to have? And I pretty much always picked Chinese food and then sometimes barbecue, but pork was central. <laughs> so when I went to, uh, to have Chinese food, I would always get the barbecue pork known as char siu. I'd get sweet and sour pork, and I loved the, bar the Chinese barbecued spare ribs. So very pork heavy, unlike now. I don't allow myself to have that. But it brings back fond memories. And stay tuned to the end, and I'll give you a little story about the legend about how all of the Chinese animals in the, in the zodiac, um, how they all fell into place. How did they get one through 12? And by the way, pig is number 12. So let's take a look at each wine. Well, so the Chinese New Year, and this year, the year of the pig, we're so lucky, all of us, <laughs> because this year is supposed to be quite prosperous and it's supposed to be a great year to um, invest and uh, increase your wealth. So I guess we all get to benefit from this year's Year of the Pig. And since we're talking about celebration um, and uh, all things festive, I went with this mum, Napa Cuve M. And if you've seen our show and you've seen that we've actually featured quite a bit of the mum sparkling wines from California because we like them so much on our show, I wanted to share with you. And this one's nice because it's going to be um, a slightly sweeter version. It's um, because they add some muscat um, and some Pinot Noir um, at the end. Um, and it sort of adds just a little bit of extra sweetness and a little fruitiness to it. And you know what? in addition to the sparkling wine, that is going to go great with the foods I think characterize um, the Chinese New Year. And that is spring rolls. Uh, it is spring festival. And if you want to have spring rolls that have um, pork or shrimp or just vegetarian, what a great option. And then I thought steamed dumplings are nice. Well, guess what? This goes with steamed dumplings no, not a problem. So if you're looking for something that's very festive um, to uh, celebrate Chinese New Year with uh, some friends and family, or you maybe need to bring it over to someone's house who's having a New Year's party, uh, guess what? I think this is a really nice option for you. It's right around, say, the $15 to $20 range, so not too bad. And you should be able to find it at your local grocery store or even uh, like a Total Wine & More, which is where I found this one. So we're huge fans of the Mum Napa Sparkling Wines and the Cuvée M fits right in there for this Chinese New Year. So looking at our next wine, I wanted to pick two wines that you should be able to find at the grocery store. So let's say you wanna pick up some um, Chinese takeout and bring it home and have something that you know will go with whatever you're going to have. Uh, that's what I was looking for, affordable and flexible um, wines. And uh, wines that also sort of characterize some personality traits that um, are associated with people who were born in the year of the pig. Well, I'll start with the Riesling. Again, this will go with um, steamed dumplings and spring rolls and most of the pork dishes and chicken and shrimp. And it could even be on the spicy side if you like some of the more spicy, uh, hotter Chinese dishes. This Riesling from Chateau Saint Michel um, has you covered. Nice acidity, beautiful floral notes. You should probably um, smell some um, peaches and apricot, maybe a little pear. Um, really delightful and excellent with um, the Chinese food I just mentioned. And I was thinking this wine sort of fits a little bit of the personality of um, men 
uh, born in the year of the pig. Um, they tended to be optimistic, uh, gentle, and they have a huge circle of friends, and they get along with a lot of people. And you know what? Rieslings tend to be that way too. Um, it's hard to find people who don't like the Riesling. They may not be always their go-to, but um, it's flexible, it's enjoyable, and it's just a nice wine to have. And this Chateau, uh, Chateau Saint-Michel really fits that bill. So an excellent choice for your New Year's celebration. And then our third wine, this may be your first time trying a Gewürztraminer, and I think it's sort of nice if you also stuck with our Chateau Saint-Michel. They do an excellent job in their Gewürztraminer. This one, you've heard people say it's kind of a, a bit more spicy, and that's because you'll notice that it has um, it still has pear, and it still has tropical fruit, and it's still citrusy, but there's something about the Gewürztraminer grape that gives you that sort of almost uh, a spiciness or a cloviness to it, um, and it's an excellent uh, wine. Still uh, light on the body and medium acidity, and it's going to have a little uh, sweetness to it, but it's okay because we're going to have maybe some spicy Chinese food, or we're going to have what I was telling you one of my favorite dishes, right? So char siu pork or sweet and sour pork, and it could even be uh, even the Szechuan style, which you know can be quite spicy and, and quite hot. So this Gewürztraminer, if it's your first one, I think this is a nice one for you to try. So with the Gewürztraminer, this is more of the female um, sign, uh, born under the year of the pig. And they also tend to be uh, sort of a wide circle of friends, but they're also known for being sort of um, <laughs> the life of the party. Um, they are hardworking, they are enthusiastic and realistic, and uh, just a little bit of an excitement. So I was thinking, well, you know, Gewürztraminer has that characteristic to it when you, when you smell and taste it. It seems um, very vibrant um, and, and outgoing. And that made me think of um, maybe women born uh, in the year of the pig. So the Gewürztraminer is an excellent uh, choice, I think, to fit that personality. And keep in mind that both the Riesling and the Gewürztraminer, right, these are from Washington State, cool climate. And um, you've, if you've seen some of our other episodes, or maybe you've heard that these uh, grapes uh, are very popular in Germany. And guess what? They absolutely are. So you could look, if you like these, and um, I think this is a nice way to start, because the Gewürztraminer's and Rieslings, once we get into uh, the ones from Austria, Germany, and Alsace, France, delicious, world-class wines. But sometimes the price also reflects that. But uh, again, if you like the uh, these two, I would love for you to um, explore when you go to a fine wine retailer, or you can watch some of my other episodes. Look at the um, Gewürztraminer's from Alsace and Germany, and Riesling's also from Austria, Germany, and Alsace, France. Beautiful, beautiful wines. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode where we looked at some great wines to go with um, Year of the Pig for Chinese uh, New Year. Well, you're probably wondering, how did the pig end up being number 12? Well, so the legend has that the Jade Emperor called 12 animals to um, a big meeting or party that he was having. And well, the pig maybe overslapped, or you know, the legend says sometimes a wolf was giving him some issues. So he came to the party last. So that's why the pig is the 12th in the Chinese zodiac. But lucky for us, it's going to be a prosperous, uh, wealthy year for all of us. So again, thank you for being such low subscribers. Hopefully you can let your friends and coworkers know how to subscribe um, to the YouTube channel if they may not know how. So I sure would appreciate it if you would show them how. And as you can imagine, all this talk about wine and Chinese food and celebrations makes me thirsty. So until next time, cheers.